Hey everyone, my name is Dewan Ahmed and I'm a developer advocate at Harness. In this video, we'll learn how to speed up your CI using Docker layer caching in Harness CI. Let's get started. Harness CI uses cutting edge features like test intelligence and incremental builds to create a hyper-optimized build infrastructure that can cut execution times for your CI pipelines by up to 8x. In this image, you can see that incremental builds consist of dependency caching, Docker layer caching, and build intelligence. In this video, we'll focus on Docker layer caching. Let's start with a quick review on how Docker's build cache works. Each instruction in a Docker file creates a layer in the final image, and the layers are cached to avoid unnecessary rebuilding. However, when a layer is modified, such as changes in a file copied with copy, Docker invalidates the cache for that layer and all subsequent layers, requiring them to be rebuilt. Understanding this behavior helps you write optimized Docker files for faster and more efficient builds. To get started, you need a source code repository with a Docker file. Here, I have a source code repository with a multi-stage Docker file. This basically means that this is a Docker file with multiple from statements to break the build process into stages. This helps keep the final image lightweight by copying only the necessary files from one stage to another, discarding anything unnecessary. It speeds up builds by leveraging layer caching, reducing the need to rerun expensive steps. Plus, it enhances security by minimizing the final image's attack surface and keeps the Docker file organized by separating concerns. I did a couple of runs using GitHub Actions for the Docker build and push step. On GitHub Actions, the average time for the build and push to happen was roughly 8 minutes and 50 seconds. Now let's switch over to Harness CI and see the same process for build and push to happen and let's see the performance using Docker layer caching on Harness CI. On Harness CI, let's create a new pipeline. I'll call this Mobi DLC. I'll choose inline option to store the pipeline in Harness. You can also use remote to have the pipeline stored in your Git repository. Hit start and let's add the stage. The build stage I'll call build and push. And I'll have the clone code base selected. You can choose Harness code repository or any of the third party Git provider. I already have the connector set up and I'll choose that one and hit set up stage. For the infrastructure, you can choose Harness Cloud or self-managed build infrastructure. When you use Docker layer caching with Harness CI Cloud, the cache is stored in Harness managed environment. When running builds on self-managed infrastructure, you'll need to provide your own storage. Click continue and then add a step. I'll find build and push an image to Docker registry from one of the many reusable steps from the step library. I already have the connector configured for Docker Hub. I'll choose that one and I'll enter the repository information. I'll add the tag. For simplicity, I'll choose latest. And you can see that enable Docker layer caching is already selected. You can find more information from the tooltip. I'll click apply changes, hit save, and then run the pipeline. All right, the pipeline finished executing and from this flash icon, you can see that you saved one minute and 14 seconds with Harness Intelligence. Now this is comparing running this pipeline with or without Docker layer caching on Harness CI. Just the build and push to Docker step, you can see that you saved 49 seconds and this step finished within 35 seconds. 
you can see that this step was optimized with Docker layer caching. But if we compare this run with the existing GitHub action runs, you can see this, this is eight minutes and 50 seconds. And this pipeline finished in one minute and 11 seconds. So roughly eight X of improvement when you're comparing with other CI providers. And you can see that you have 93 out of 127 layers were restored from cache. So you can see that this cached from the execution logs. That is an indication of the performance improvement you can have in your CI pipeline using Docker layer caching on Harness CI. To recap, by caching Docker layers, you save time and resources, making your CI CD pipelines more efficient. You can use Docker layer caching or DLC with your self hosted build infrastructure or Harness cloud build infrastructure. For more information, check out the resources in the video description and subscribe to Harness YouTube channel.